Let's clap it up, y'all. Let's clap it up. After so many attempts at making a live adaptation, oh, hell. that's above a spoiler. That's above a five out of ten. We finally got one, bro. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Now, hey, now I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like this One Piece live action, low key, like at some parts had me thinking that I was watching it for the first time, which, huh? Oh, well, I mean, I kind of was, but you get the idea. But I'm gonna keep this video real short, cause you know I'm not a reviewer type of guy. I'm not really a reviewer, like you know, uh, moist critical. He's pulling his cock out. I just wanted to talk about it pretty much, cause like you know, this is history. Hell, hey, get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? Well, I mean, at least for me, cause like I don't speak on any other live adaptations, you know, like uh, Bleach. I heard, I heard that was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Huh? Full Metal? What, was that? Was it Full Metal? Oh no, it was Roni Kenshin. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I ain't watched none of those, but you know, if they're if they're above five to ten, my fault. But pretty much, I'm just be talking about the pros and cons, you know. Like it, it ain't that deep. Like this video is really not that deep. I'm gonna be talking about that and get out of my way. All right, that's it. First of all, bro, hold on, cause this is like one of the most most important parts for me. For me, the way One Piece is so like. Goofy. One Piece is one of those animes where you shouldn't be able to adapt that. I don't know how that they were able to make it above all uh, live adaptations. For me, like I said, for me, for me. But bro, like when I say goofy, I mean like the effects. Like bro, the main character is made out of rubber. Come on. The main character literally just got a transformation that makes into a cartoon. Come on. Like bro, like the builds, the art style, like it's so goofy. I don't understand how they're managing to pull it off but yeah the gum gum effects were cool uh the sea the sea beasts were cool i guess i guess the fish parts were cool yeah they weren't like too bad i guess i don't know and number two bro the casting i'm not gonna lie the casting was, was quite solid i'm not go you know i'm not gonna talk about the acting which is kind of it was just a con but yeah bro uh nami's casting <laughs> But yeah, bro. But yeah, like Zoro's casting was good. Uh, Sanji's casting was I. I don't know why people are hate out like hating on it. Usopp is amazing. Usopp, Loki, that's Loki my favorite. Like I don't even care if he it doesn't have the long nose. Just like just thinking about how the how the hell are they gonna do Frank or or even worse Chopper or even worse Brook? Like come on. But yeah, I heard people talking about the like the builds like they weren't as big i mean let's be for real why would they get like abnormally huge people but yeah pretty much like the straw hats casting uh it's kind of perfect besides like the besides the acting like they all seem like perfect fine as the characters but yeah bro like the last promo we'll talk about is the story adaptation bro that story adaptation was fire dog like they're they're able to make the pacing amazing i'm not gonna lie this got some parts like some key parts that are, well i guess personal favorites so i'm not even gonna like argue about that i like how they took out uh the don creek fight though because that really wasn't needed and then bro like let's be real let's be real bro like it's like eight episodes how much wait how long hold on bro that art like up to the first episode to arlong like to the end of the arlong arc that's 43 episodes in one piece and they have to fit that into eight episodes four to three episodes into eight episodes and they have to use like two episodes for the arlong arc which is uh, perfectly fine get rid of the donkey fight bro we don't need that bro we don't need that we don't but hey man that that that's it for the pros now like, let's get to the cons like the cons are not too bad you know what i think first one is the bad acting like i was talking about god ah. damn i'm be for real I'm, want me to be for real i'm be for real bro there was i feel like there's a slight parts that were trash like for acting but bro the main the main one bro zoro what in the world that is not my zoro i don't care why they make him emo as hell bro what's going on oh, hat crew really yeah, I thought he got a nice ring to it. Demon has a nice ring to it. Back. <laughs> because that joke is horrible, nigga. Open your mouth. I need to know what happened in that studio where they they pretty much said, "Oh, this dialogue a hit. Let's just keep it in." No, and that that goes on my next thing, bro. The dialogue was not it. It it kind of gave off the same vibe as One Piece, which is which would be good. But like I said, One Piece is kind of goofy. So translated into a live action, that is bad. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, bro, like I'm in two cons right now. It's not that it's not that bad. Like I'm telling you, bro, it's not that bad. But lastly, dog, the character relationships was not it. Why the hell? Well, what, what was going on with the energy between them, bro? They're supposed to be friends. Like I get it. 
they're trying to make it more realistic you know they're not going to be friends like off rip and they're trying to build up their friendship like throughout the throughout the show at episode eight yeah kind of better i guess But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for cons. Like, I don't really got anything else bad to say, to be honest. But hey, man, I'm going to give this final review. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I heard a lot of One Piece fans talking about it's, it's the best Netflix show. Stop it. That's just biased. Let's be real. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty good show. Like, it's not, it's not 8 or 9. It's like a 7 to a 7.5. That's just it.